Nowadays, lots of teens have a problem. Technology is very modern. People make friends, talk with each other, and they also bully others on the internet. Cyberbullying means using digital technology like internet, social media, or even email to bully others. Same as other kinds of bullying, cyberbullying always happens between the people that know each other. People post other photos. Or some intimate things on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. It's terrible for cyberbullying to happen in teens, and we must do something to stop it. However, teens need place to give off. Cyberbullying often occurs in teens. The reason is technology is modern now, and teens use social media. Much more than other aged people, they also need place to vent different kinds of stressors like exams, homework, parents chatter, and the relationships between friends. Teens really have a lot of things to stress about. Then they find some places and something for them to give off. Hindu Jasmine and Justin W. Passion said, "Girls got other bully much more than boys." The reason that girls got more bullied is because girls look at social media much more than boys, because boys spend their free time on games instead of looking at those kind of social media. Even though cyberbullying is so terrible, people still can cyberbully others and get bullied from others because no one can stop it. Everyone can get cyberbullied. Of course, people can bully others too, like other bullying. Cyberbullying hurts people a lot, even much more offensive than the ordinary bullying. Because people use language to hurt others instead of just hurting people physically. If people just hurt a person physically, the person can be healing in a few days. But if people hurt a victim in language, that hurts his heart, and the person won't be happy even a month pass when he thinks of that. Cyberbullying can really destroy a person who get bullied. If a person saw everyone is bullying at him, his friends are also bullying at him, just because they won't don't want to get bullied with the victim by the people who are were bullying at the victim. The victim can be very helpless and hopeless because no one can help him. He is alone to fight against so much people. The victim don't have friends. He has no one for help. He has nothing to do and he can't do anything. As we can know. That the number of cyberbullying victims are growing up by time. Why? One of the reason is because the technology is more modern now, and people use different kinds of ways to bully other instead of bullying other in their real life. In 2007, the rate of cyberbullying was just 18.8 percent. In 2014, the rate of cyberbullying grew up to 34.6 percent. That is kind of double rate than the rate of 2007, but in 2015, the rate started to go down. That's because parents and teachers started to realize that their children getting is getting bullied on these social medias, so they don't let them look at social media. Lots of people are trying to prevent cyberbullying since cyberbullying is always disturbing teens' life. Cyberbullying is such a terrible thing, so the school and parents are always trying to protect their children. Some school take students' phone if they are not following the rules. They also block some social media that have cyberbullying on it. Parents shouldn't be angry if their children got cyberbullied. They should tell their children not to be so scared about it. They can control their children's phone, but not know everything in their phone because everyone has their own secrets. If they are being angry to their children because their children got bullied, the people who got bullied might be more upset and aggrieved. They would even suicide. As we can know, cyberbullying is a horrible thing to teens. They can even destroy the life and future of people who got bullied. If everyone is bullying at others, everyone will also get bullied from others. So we should stop cyberbullying together to protect our life.